Well, CBC News has obtained exclusive details about government and military officials spending hundreds of thousands of dollars using Challenger aircraft. Last week, Canada's top general was in the spotlight over his use of the planes. Tonight, we found exactly who else is using the jets and why they're flying. Greg Weston has been digging into this story for us. The Prime Minister and the Governor General are both required to fly on Challenger jets for security reasons. The Chief of the Defence Staff says he also needs them for operational purposes. But there are no such requirements for other defence officials. CBC News obtained flight logs for the fleet of six planes. The most recent logs for June, which is a typical month, show that almost 60% of the jet fuel burned up was to fly defense officials who could have gone commercial, at a cost which the Auditor General estimates is $12,000 an hour. A general, his wife, and three other officers flew to Brazil for six days. Cost? $335,000. DND personnel and their families got sightseeing trips around Ottawa. $12,000. Eight lower ranking officers and a civilian flew across the country for an air show. $120,000. A general, two officers, and a civilian flew to Jamaica for 24 hours. $96,000. Just another example. Three planes flew to Trenton, Ontario for the return of a Canadian soldier killed in Afghanistan. The Governor General from Newfoundland, General Natinchuk and Defence Minister Peter McKay from Ottawa. They flew on separate jets leaving and landing only minutes apart. Total cost that day was $45,000. In fact, what Canada's $33 million a year jet fleet does most is nothing. Last year, the six planes spent 70% of their time going nowhere. All of which has critics demanding government action. I think they've obviously got to review the whole thing. They're flying around half the time empty. Well, maybe we have too many jets. The head of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation is even more blunt. We have this VIP jet fleet. There's, there's always a temptation to use it. We shouldn't have it at all. We asked Peter McKay if the government was planning to cut the Challenger fleet in a statement his office said it wasn't ruling out anything as the government moves to balance its books. Peter? All right, Greg, thanks very much. Greg Weston.